Every good hangover brunch needs something exceedingly decadent and rich and fattening to counteract the effects from the night before. So this morning, we're going to make an upside down caramelized apple and banana French toast, which is similar to the traditional French tart tartan, an upside down apple tart. But ours is even more decadent because we are having it for breakfast and we're combining it with French toast. Now, this dish as well is inspired by a dish that was served Sunday mornings at a restaurant that I used to work at as a teenager, and it was wildly popular with all of the customers uh, who were in recovery mode. We're gonna top ours with a nest of fried bacon, uh, and just to be that extra little bit decadent, we're going to top it with some whipped orange butter. So, should be good. The first thing we're going to do to get started is we're going to turn our oven on and preheat it to 180 degrees. And then for this recipe, you're going to need four eggs, around eight slices of bread, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, six bananas, five tablespoons of lemon juice, half a cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons maple syrup or organic golden syrup, four tablespoons of butter, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one cup of milk, and four apples. Peel, core, and cut each apple into slices that are three-fourths of an inch thick. We're gonna add about five tablespoons of lemon juice, just to make sure that our apples don't go brown. Now we need to add our bananas. And bananas are brilliant for hangovers because they're full of potassium and they're gonna help to settle your tummy if your stomach's a little bit upset from the night before. So I'm just gonna peel my bananas and we're gonna cut them into slices that are about the same size as the apples. And we're gonna put them right in there with the apples and the lemon juice. Okay. I need to add about half a teaspoon of cinnamon just to spice things up a bit. And we're just gonna sprinkle that on top. And then I need to toss that all together really well so we combine all the flavors. We need to melt three tablespoons of butter over a medium high heat. We're gonna add our fruit and you're gonna saute your fruit for about 30 seconds or until it starts to get tender. So now we just need to add our brown sugar and our maple syrup. Okay, so you need to take your fruit off the heat and you're gonna put it into your dish that you've lightly buttered. So that just goes all in there, looking delicious and decadent that out a bit. Fabulous. So now we need to make the toast part of our French toast. So you're going to take your bread that you've sliced fairly thickly, okay, and we're going to cut it into some soldiers. So they're going to be fairly thick as well. Soldiers or ladies fingers, whatever you want to call them. So there we go. The secret to all good French toast is a really nice egg topping. So we need to make an egg mixture to dip our bread into. So there we go. You're going to crack your eggs into your bowl, okay? Now, try not to get any eggshell in there, but if you do, it's not the end of the world. You can just fish it out. It happens. So three and four. And then I have a cup of milk. That goes straight in on top, okay? And just a dash of vanilla essence, which is actually optional, but I like it. So there we go, just a drop. Take your whisk and just whisk that up. That's smelling great, got that vanilla in there. And we're nearly ready to make our topping. 
what we're going to do is you want to take the bread and you're going to dip it lightly on either side in that nice vanilla egg mixture that we just made. Just go ahead and squish that down right on top of each other like this. Make sure both sides are really well coated, almost like a bread and butter pudding, but not quite. And again, we're going to stick that in there. And your friends are going to absolutely adore you for this. You're going to be the hero of the morning. And it's okay as well if all you could scrounge up in your house was like day old stale bread, because that actually soaks up the egg really well. So again, no stress, stress free. There we go. That's in there. There we go, nearly there. These are all really big wedges, so I have one last guy hiding there. I'm gonna put him down. We're gonna go just in there, that's really nice and full for us. And then if you have any leftover mixture like this, you just go ahead and drizzle that right over the top, and that's gonna soak into the bread while you're baking it, and just make sure everything is really lovely and gooey and eggy, vanilla -y goodness. Now the final step before we're going to put our upside down caramelized apple and banana French toast in the oven is just to add a few teeny tiny knobs of butter onto the top of that soaked bread just to make the whole thing ridiculously decadent and delicious. After 35 minutes, your French toast should be ready. And it's going to be this lovely goldeny brown color. And so, ugh, get that out of there. Just careful because the dish is going to be hot. Looks good. So, now, once you have it out of the oven, you want to leave it to cool for about five or 10 minutes, otherwise you're just going to be left with a big mess. But after about five minutes, you're going to want to take it out of the dish. And that's because, remember, this is our upside down French toast, which is based on the French uh, tart tartan, the traditional upside down tart. So now, here we go. Just make sure you pull it away from the sides. Now, before you go to take it out, you want to make sure that you have either a tray or a cutting board or something that's going to be big enough to fit over it so that you're not left with your lovely but messy fruit oozing all over your table. So now you put that on top and you're going to go one, two, three and flip and see that's going to hopefully come away from the top. You can give it a little bit of a tap if you need to and then you're going to lift that right off and ta-da! Perfection! <laughs> So we're in the final stretch of our breakfast and the last thing we have to do is our whipped orange butter and this is a flavored butter that will literally take all of two seconds to put together and it's a great thing to know how to make because uh, you can easily jazz up pancakes, french toast, waffles, anything you feel like really. So we start off with six tablespoons of butter, so approximately. So we'll get those guys in there. Three, say about that, five and six. Now, then you just add one heaped tablespoon of icing sugar. Okay, get that in there. We're going to add about uh, a tablespoon of orange juice and the zest of one orange. So there you go, just drop that in there quickly. Oranges are great. The reason uh, we're gonna put our orange butter on our French toast today is just to give us that little bit of a wake up zing. We can fool ourselves and say that it's for the vitamin C as well, you know, good for the hangovers and all of that. Now there we go, get that in there. Any excess zest. And then you just want to go ahead and give that a good beating, get that all mixed in together. Okay, just to finish it off, we're going to add a little another smidge of cinnamon, just a drop. There we go. And just give that one final little mix. And that is looking absolutely gorgeous. There we go, our whipped butter is finished. So now we have our finished French toast 
and uh, you have a few options at this stage. You can either just cut it into squares and portion it out that way, or if you're feeling particularly fancy and you have some nice cookie cutters or you know professional cutters, you can take one of those and just go ahead and cut a nice little design out of that. And I like to do that because I think it makes it extra fancy. So we'll go ahead and pop that down there. And lift that off. And there you have it. So now I'm just going to transfer that onto the plate to serve it. Okay, now before we can eat, we just need to add the final touches and a few garnishes. So we're going to top our French toast with some of our whipped orange butter. Looking very yummy with our orange zest in there. Okay, and then the final thing, as I mentioned earlier, just to be super decadent, I'm going to top it with our nest of bacon, and these are just some bacon strips that I fried earlier. So there we go. Get that piled nice and high. Okay, that looks great. And then finally, just because I want to send it out to my friends, looking very presentable and extra scrumptious, I'm going to top it with a little bit of icing sugar. So I just take my sieve and then we dust it over the top. Now folks, at the end of the day, if this doesn't cure your hangover, I don't know what will. And I myself am going to dig in and enjoy some of my hard work. That's really good.